And my type tool is still active in this text frame. And the next technique we need to utilize, we can't do with the type tool active, oddly enough. So I need to hit the escape key and that will then, it should at least, select both the text frames within this threaded sequence, uh, two in total, of course, and then go up to the type menu and choose area type options. This pops up on screen, make sure the preview checkbox is turned on. And in the center, we have a group of options called offset. And in there, we're gonna change the inset spacing. So this will keep the text frame the same size, but then by increasing the inset, it actually just creates a second field within which the text can appear. And it will just pull it away from the edges. Now, when you tap the up cursor key in here or the down one, it will change by 0.5 millimeters. So I keep tapping this up in here. You'll see that it increases that region around the outside. And then with that done uh, at set to four millimeters, we now have this lovely consistent edge around the outside. We didn't have to sort of re re uh, size the, uh, the handles of the actual text frames themselves. So this is a very sort of efficient way of being able to get a nice border around a text frame. When I'm done, I'll click the OK key in there and then just make sure that I just drag this text frame up a little bit in here and then um, keep that as it is. And I think we're, we're looking pretty good in there for that. So that pretty much is the formatting done and the sort of text frame sizing in there. Uh, the next thing we need to do then is to add the, uh, the three steps in this uh, cycle trail and we're going to use text wrap for that.